In summary, Judge Katanji Brown Jackson exercised her discretion and issued a three month sentence when the recommended sentence was 10 years in prison. 10 years in prison, and she recommended three months. Six years after the sentence, this person would re offend and be sentenced to six months in a halfway house. Reoffend. And it's because a defense attorney, that's their job, and a psychiatrist, this is not their job, argued that a person, 17 videos of prepubescent children fucking, was not attracted to children. Yes, people are properly pointing out that he was caught six years later, that he would reoffend because he was caught at the time. That's true. This is a Supreme Court nominee to replace Justice Breyer in every single case that she has taken on. She's given either the mandatory minimum sentence. And those are the best case scenarios because in those cases, when there's a mandatory minimum, they get five years. In every other case, she has departed downward from the sentencing guidelines and the government recommendation. In every case involving child pornography, only all of them. She's written about how sex offender registries are unconstitutional. She's written about the over-stigmatization and punitive nature of child sex offender crimes specifically. To the senators of the United States, I implore you, do not appoint this travesty to the Supreme Court of the United States. You do a disservice, a discredit, and a dishonor to the honorable position of Supreme Court justice by affirming routinely devastating, deviant, and disgusting sentencing practices that take the worst offenders in our entire country that do the most ongoing and lasting damage to children that will haunt them until the day they die and trivialize it into sentences that are less than for petty misdemeanor crimes. That is embarrassing, it's offensive, and it is unbecoming of a Supreme Court justice. Thank you.